Coming up on today's show, we're going to recap all of the latest Titans roster moves that were made. Welcome into Titans Today by Chat Sports. Matthew Peterson here with you guys with a lot to talk about because the Titans, they have been busy leading up to their Thursday night game against the Packers. Uh, Robinson and Braves have been busy putting together another Band-Aid duct tape roster to get them through the week as the injuries they just never slow down, unfortunately, for Tennessee. So remember yesterday, we had Ian Rappaport, unfortunately, breaking the news about the former first-round pick cornerback, Caleb Farley, suffering a disc injury on Sunday in the win over Denver. And he's having more tests to determine how significant it is. We don't have any huge updates on the significance of it, but he was placed on injured reserve. So at the minimum, he is going to miss four weeks. But let's be honest, guys. This feels a lot longer than four weeks. In fact, this feels sort of like, who remembers the Giants running back out of Virginia Tech almost 10 years ago, David Wilson? He had those neck injuries that never went away, and he retired very young in his career. I'm not connecting dots between the two, but I do get sort of that sense of, ooh, might this be a first rounder that the Tennessee Titans once again whiffed on when they knew he had a lot of injury history and the injuries, unfortunately, have just never gone away and even when he's healthy it's not like they desperately need him because he hasn't been good this year let's be honest about it pro football focus has him an overall grade of 42 and a half coverage grades worse at 34.7 now i hope caleb farley is resilient and he can rebound and he can bounce back from this injury bounce back from this setback and get back onto the field at nissan stadium so if you want to see that happen too, like today's video, let them know that Titans fans all across the volunteer state are pulling for this guy and want to see him succeed, but it just feels a little bleak right now. All right, moving on here, next portion of today's show. 104.5 The Zone tweeting out, signed to active roster from practice squad was defensive lineman Laura Merchantson and linebacker Joe Schober. Now, placed on IR like we just touched on was Caleb Farley. Signed to the practice squad. Cornerback Devontae Harris, kicker Josh Lambeau, defensive end Greg Maben, and linebacker Andre Smith. You write all that down? I'm not going to repeat it. We're going to go bit by bit from this news, but let's start with the players joining the active roster. And that is some of a familiar face. Um, player that's bounced, uh, bounced, bounced between the practice squad and the active roster. And that is Laurel Merchinson, uh, who was signed to a one-year contract extension through 2023, which I'm trying to piece together why they extended him for another. It's 2022. So I wonder if the Titans and Robinson just got their years mixed up and they're like, oh, I can get him an extra year or something. But the former day three pick out of NC State in his career has not been a big factor. 14 tackles, two tackles for loss in just 24 games. I wonder if he's just like the leader of the clubhouse leader in ping pong and he gets to stick around for an extra year. It's a little bizarre to see someone elevated from the practice squad and get an additional year added onto their contract. Not quite sure what was worked out there between Merchantson's agent and Robinson, but something was. Now, like we said, he was on the Titans practice squad and getting through 2023 likely means that Vrabel and John see something in him that they like a lot, but... If you came here for answers of, that's kind of bizarre, why did they do that? I don't have a good answer for you. All right, next piece of news here was Joe Sherbert was added to the practice squad. He has been sort of a taxi man, right? He's gone back and forth between the practice squad and the active roster. Now he's being added. You can only do that so many times. And finally, on a short week with Tennessee once again banged up, they decide to promote him to the active 53-man roster. Plus, when you got one player going to IR and Farley, that opens up a roster spot. So, this so far this season, nine tackles, one forced fumble. I was pretty, not to say bleak, but uh, pet, uh, maybe not super optimistic is what I want to say. Half glass empty about the signing when it first happened just because he had one preseason game with the Broncos back in August and they didn't like him enough to cut him not even two days later, but just the next day. But happy to see Joe hopefully landing a spot with the Titans moving forward. Schober, he definitely provides some depth, though, for Thursday night football. Ultimately, Vrabel has to get a roster together, right? For Thursday night, short week on the road, and so he's going with someone who at least is reliable, is accountable, who will actually be there and hopefully be healthy. I think that's what this move means more than anything. 
I don't think it's about him coming up and taking someone's job or something like that. It is simply, we've got a game to play in four days, and I need 53 healthy players on this active roster. Joe, next man up mentality. All right, what is your one-word reaction to these Titans roster signings? Get creative with it. I want to see everyone in the comments section letting me know their one-word reaction. If I had to get one, I would go with... Um, Red Cross, because it has just been a flurry of injuries, unfortunately. And these are some more corresponding moves combating that. Okay, we are so close to 5,100 subscribers. 30 away. I know there are 30 Titans fans watching right now that have not subscribed. Please go ahead and do so, because if we get more subscribers here at the channel, we can get more Titans content out, right? More subscribers equals more studio space here at Chat Sports. More studio space or videos for Titans fans all across the world. So the practice squad signings that we mentioned earlier in the video. DB Devontae Harris, a former day three pick um, out of Iowa State. Kicker Josh Lambeau, he was with the Jags for a while, familiar name right there. Defensive back Greg Maben, and linebacker Andre Smith. We're going to break down all these moves in just a moment, but it's chilly out there. Winter is here. Winter is coming. It has arrived. It is cold. And make sure you are still repping your favorite NFL team while staying warm by getting this awesome Titans polo, which, by the way, is on sale right now. Chatsports.com slash Titans hoodie. Make sure you get this Titans hoodie today. Holiday season's right around the corner. It makes for an awesome gift for a loved one. Or, life hack, give it to yourself and say that your dog gave it to you. Easy way to give yourself free presents. Just say, from your dog, so from me, Cruz to Petey, here's a polo, here's a hoodie. Easy way to give yourself your favorite gift. All right, Josh Lambeau, though. Could this be a Fat Randy replacement? So, Randy Bullock, if you remember, had a bit of a tweak during pregame warmups against the Broncos. They were getting Stonehouse ready to do kickoffs and whatnot. And to me, on a short week, this is the Titans preparing for the potential that Randy Bullock is not available for Thursday night. This is probably the most significant and the biggest move that was made because this definitely sends a bit of a sign that Bullock might not be ready come this uh, Sunday, this Thursday. So Josh Lambeau is being added sort of as an emergency kicker so that if before the game, Randy Bullock is unable to go or 24 hours before the game, they make a decision, they can promote Josh Lambeau. Are you worried about Randy Bullock, his injury? Yes or no? Never good not having a confident kicker, especially for a Titans offense that, let's face it, does a great job when they get to the red zone, but they don't get there enough to make yourself feel comfortable about Randy Bullock being injured. Let me know in the comment section, yes or no. All right, next move that was made, Andre Smith. He is being added to the practice squad as a linebacker. Again, these are more moves to reflect. Titans are banged up right now, and they are stockpiling players at positions of need as injuries continue to mount up, right? With Bud Dupree, or you lost uh, Landry, but that was a long time ago. Regardless, the defensive front seven is nicked up, so Smith is going to come over as sort of an emergency player that if they need to elevate, they've got someone who has 27 career tackles. That's more than your average Joe still on the street in late November. All right, Devontae Harris, this may be the most noteworthy of all the other players outside of Lambeau. He has a lot of experience, actually. He was a starter for the Denver Broncos for a year and change or so. He's bounced around the league. He's got a colorful closet with jerseys all over. But the Illinois State uh, product has landed a home for the Titans for the time being. And I think this is a good uh, example of when you lose a corner in Caleb Farley, you're quickly going to see some DBs added, like Greg Maben, by the way, too, who's got 10 career tackles, bit of a journeyman, familiar face, of course, um, who's with the Titans sort of on and off uh, for the last year or so. So Maben comes back, and Titans right now preparing for plan C and D and E if B does not work out for replacing Caleb Farley moving forward. These two DBs being signed to the practice squad – Definitely feels like a corresponding move to the injury that Caleb Farley sustained. So that's the latest on the Titans roster moves and news right there. If you like today's video, make sure to subscribe as well. Like I said earlier, if we get more subscribers, we can get more content for 
Titans fans all across Tennessee. So let me know if you like today's video by hitting that subscribe button.